Hey everyone, so today I'm going to go through the basics on how to customise one of the templates available on our online design tool. For today's tutorial we're going to use A-frames, so let's get started. Now before you get too excited, you won't be able to start designing until you fill out the instant quote form. So just choose your quantity, number of designs, size and material, then make sure you've selected Design My Own Online, and then how you wish to receive your order. Click Calculate Price, and once you're happy with the quote, click Start Designing. Woohoo! This will take you down to where you can choose from one of our customizable templates. For today, I'm going to use this snazzy template, so just hover over it and click Customize. This will take you to the editor, and this is where all the magic happens. On the left are all the template layers, and this will be your guide when customizing the design. You will notice the top toolbar change as I select different layers to show the necessary tools for each particular layer type. To change the text, you can either select directly on the artboard and click the pencil icon, or you can go to your layers and change your text here. Now you can just go ahead and edit all the text to suit your needs. To format any of the text, just select the required layer, and you will find all the formatting options up here. So have a play around with it, change the font, change the size until you're happy with how it looks. Now let's add a background image. You can do this by selecting the layer and clicking this photo icon. Then just drag and drop or upload any photos from your computer. Sneaky tip, make sure your photo has a DPI of at least 130 or higher. Now just click on your chosen image and then insert. Now I want to upload a logo. So I'm going to click the photo icon on the right toolbar and upload another file. Now again, just click on your chosen image and then insert. As you can see, this is way too big, so let's go ahead and resize it. You can do this by holding down one of the corners of the transform box, then just scale to your preferred size. Now let's drop the transparency slightly. Firstly, make sure your layer is selected, then come up to the transparency icon on the top toolbar and just drag down to the desired percentage. Now A-frames have two sides, so make sure you come down here and select backside. Now I know what you're thinking, do I really have to design everything all over again? Well not to worry, one of the many great features of the online design tool is this button right here. Just click copy design from front side and boom, it will replicate your design. When you're happy with the design, click the view proof and order button. Then you just need to approve your design on both sides and either add to cart or check out. And that's it. So have fun and get designing everyone.